Good morning and happy new year. We had the most fun night last night. We went out, we did a pub crawl. It's uh, really windy. Anyway, we went out and we met a lot of people, um, Americans. I'm sorry I didn't vlog any of it, but I didn't bring my vlogging camera. I didn't think that was gonna be the best idea. We went to two bars and then a club at the end. So I was like, maybe a best option is not to bring my camera or bag. It's like, oh my God. Enjoy Berlin day three, our last full day. Back in the room now, I just wanted to show you. Oh, I almost opened the door while someone was passing. How windy. Oh, it's not even raining anymore. It was like pouring five minutes ago. It's like super windy. And oh my God, like that's actually really pretty. What the heck, I bring out the vlog camera and mother nature's like, oh, never mind. let me make it pretty for you. All right, well. <laughs> oh my God. Vlog day two is just rendering and I'll be uploading it right after it finishes. We're kind of just having a lazy afternoon because it was raining. It was raining, I promise it was raining. Um, it is our last day in Berlin though, which is like full day, which is really sad because our flight is at like 2.45 tomorrow. So, yeah, sadness. But then we go to Barcelona, and then we go to London. It's gonna be great. The trip's not over yet. Just the solo us two trip is over. Almost, almost over. What did you say about me? Nothing. I said nothing. Okay. Ooh. back at the hostel um, and it's currently what time is it it is currently 8 24 in the evening and I think what we're gonna do is just watch some Netflix um, if I can get it to work my computer's been kind of whack lately but it's okay um, and then I think we're gonna chill and then we're gonna try to pack because we're gonna leave tomorrow um, check out at the hostel is at 11 a.m. Um, so we're gonna check out at 11 and then we're gonna go to, we try to go to the vegan donut place because we couldn't do that yesterday and we really wanted to try it um, and then from the vegan donut place I think we're gonna go straight to the airport because our flight is at 2:45 and we want to have like enough time to um, check Ari's bag and get through security and stuff um, because it's better to be early than late and miss our flight to Barcelona. Um, but yeah. Since we are leaving tomorrow, I'm going to show you how I pack three weeks worth of clothes and toiletries and things. Um, 
in a carry-on away bag because I think I did pretty well and I have some tips and tricks that I've learned along the way that have really benefited me. Anyway, here's the current mess that I have to pack and it fits all in a carry-on away bag. Okay, so this is what I fit in a carry-on size bag. I fit all this underwear and then I fit these two little t-shirts. Um, the This striped shirt, a long sweater, a striped t-shirt, a normal white t-shirt, and another normal white t-shirt. I fit three coats. So this is a raincoat. This is like a very thick wool gray coat that you see all the time. And then this is my red coat here for pants. I fit my Lulu slacks. This dress that I actually haven't worn yet. So I guess I didn't really need to bring it. But maybe I'll wear it in Barcelona and London where it's warmer. Um, my pants that I got from Coast actually in Paris. My orange pants that I wore in New York. My jeans. My scarf. I actually haven't like actually packed that because I got that in Berlin. But... We'll see how that goes. And then my my huge sweater that I always wear. And my Lululemon leggings. And then my coat that I always wear. I wear on the plane because those are my most bulky items. Obviously my Lululemon leggings are not my most bulky item. But this is my most bulky item. And I my leggings are the only thing that actually go with it. So I gotta make at least one sacrifice. <laughs> So yeah, that's my airplane outfit. So I'm going to show you basically how I pack all of this into that tiny little compartment over there because this compartment is for like shoes and toiletries and things. So basically the way that I fit all of these um, clothing items into my carry-on are these. They're called magic bags and you can get them at like Target or Walmart. But they're basically like vacuum sealed bags and you don't need a vacuum for them i mean you can use a vacuum that have a vent but you can roll them and it, it um it'll like push them out push the air out the bottom so i'm basically just gonna fit all of my clothes in here my red coat and the goal is to get it as flat as possible my lulu slacks i'm gonna do this dress it's like a very thick dress i'm gonna add so I'm going to do these two small shirts, and then I'm going to do this shirt and call it good. Then all you do is basically seal it up, and then you roll. Like so. So basically now, you have a very thin vacuum sealed bag. One done. Okay, so here we go. My three magic bags all packed. Ready to be fit into this guy. And basically you just want to find a way that it fits the best. And then I have these little compression things, which is super nice. Here we go. That side's all done. Okay, so I have this purse that I've never worn once. <laughs> right there. My sports bras are going to go right next to it. My socks are going to go right on top of my thing, on my purse. So this pouch is basically miscellaneous, so it has my um, purified gel that I got in France. My makeup removers, my toothbrush brush pouch, um, some, and then some face masks, and then a little mini first aid kit. And this one's pretty big, so this one's going to go on the bottom right there.
this pouch, my makeup pouch, is my second biggest pouch. Um, and it's another Glossier pouch. So I'm just going to put that right there. This pouch is my shower pouch. Um, it has my shampoo and conditioner, my body wash, and then my purple shampoo, which is for blondes. And I'm going to put this right on top of my other, my big one. And then I have my Dr. Martin's shoe polish that I got in New York. So it's not like I'm extra and I actually brought this from this, from Colorado. I just, I had it from New York, so I had to figure out a place to put it. So I'm just going to put that right there. And then I have my shoes. And like I said, the biggest thing about packing is finding, like filling all the spaces. So basically in my, in my tennis shoes, I put my sunglasses and my fake like clear glasses. And I just find a place for those. And then in this one, I have a headband. Oh, I need to put something there. Let's find something. I'll put this. I'll actually put this here too. And then I'll put my little neck scarf in there. These are like little um, detergent basically. So if you like stain something or you run out of underwear, this is really good to have because it's just like a little mini packing detergent. So I'll put that there too. And then I zip that up. And that is that side all done. And then basically what you gotta do is just close it and kind of sit on it to make it close and then you're good. Ta-da! Pretty often. <laughs> Pretty often. But I think this is it's not cutting. <laughs> Did you get it? Yeah. Yay! Yay! Wait, are you ready? They're sitting right there, I bet you. No. Oh, no. Thank God. <laughs> Thank you. We're just currently in the lobby of the hostel right now. I know it's really loud. But we're going to end the vlog here. I hope you enjoyed this vlog and the little packing tips. Anyway, if you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. Comment down below what we should do in Barcelona. Um, yeah, I hope you enjoyed. Bye.